This is The Pitch, a one-of-its-kind show where we are bringing together 25 aspiring young entrepreneurs for a test of their skills and a date with fate. Our jury, some of the brightest new age business minds, will quiz, question and grill. How much capital do you require? Three crore rupees will be sufficient for me. I don't understand how it's going to cost you three crore. You, when you go to uh, eat dosa in Bangalore, do you eat pay in dollars or pay in rupees? Uh, we pay in rupees, yeah. It's better if you ask for money in rupees, right? I would seriously suggest you reconsider your business model. I think you really need to rethink what you're doing. To pick out 10 of the best here, who will then buy for funding of 5 crore rupees. In the judges' seat, I'm Mahesh Murthy. From being a college dropout today, he is a millionaire with a pile of cash to lend. Mahesh Murthy decides the fate of many entrepreneurs in his new avatar as investor and mentor. Now as partner at Seed Fund, Mahesh is using an eagle eye to spot the next big idea. We're looking for people who can create a dominant business in a dominant sector. For that, you have to pick a sector early, pick a space early before somebody else gets into it. You have to have the, the brains, the backbone to be able to build a team and, make, and win in that sector. I'm looking for people like that. From being a gaming addict to becoming the gaming king, Vishal Gondal turned his passion into a multi-million dollar business. The mind behind India Games, Vishal is living his dream. This is my third season at The Pitch. The show is becoming bigger every year. The quality of the pitches, the contestants, the, the passion, the power, the force is incredible over here. I'm completely excited to look at these plans and I'm sure that the next Zuckerberg is going to come out of here. For Neeraj Roy, the journey to success has been seamless. From hospitality to investment banking, and then starting a company that has led Bollywood into the digital space. Neeraj is an innovator who makes innovation seem easy. I'm looking for interesting, innovative business ideas from a whole generation of entrepreneurs, whether it's first time or people who've been serial entrepreneurs, and really, you know, be the future of Indian entrepreneurship. Last week, the Pitt jury got a chance to hear out seven hopefuls. The response was mixed and few were spared. Today, 11 of these men and women will get their minutes worth of chance to pitch their idea and who knows, get a chance to give wings to their entrepreneurial dream. This is The Pitch. First up, Lalit Bhise, on a mission to mobilize your business. We have 60 seconds to hear your plan, and we'll start now. Bizome stands for Business on the Move. It's a mobile-first cloud solution, which helps organizations increase their Salesforce productivity by at least 70% using our patent-pending algorithms. We have more than 60 customers and more than 10,000 users so far. In summary, we visualize a world where almost everybody is automated using their mobile phone or tablet at their workflows and being more productive and more effective. The time's up, Lajit. So I have a straightforward question. You've already been funded. How much were you funded earlier? Uh, 1.4 CR. Why is it that even after getting that amount of funding, you're still here looking for more funding? I looked at a couple of the past episodes of the pitch and it presents an opportunity to network with some of the business leaders in India. Also, it allows me to a platform. So you're here to network work. with us, or are you of here course. to pitch your business? See, of we, are here, we are here for looking at serious people with serious business. So if you're here just to network with us, no, no, I'm know. not here to network with you guys. Obviously, and uh, Bloomberg TV itself is a platform which my customers and my users watch. I mean, it's a business. So this channel. is publicity for you. So it, what will you do with the money? So we first of all we will you buy the ads on Bloomberg? No, no, we will not actually add. You will not buy the ads on Bloomberg? I think I think he's got enough footage now. I think we should go to the other people, I guess. Yeah. Thanks so much, Lalit. So why does he need money? I'm not mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. I think, you know, he's here for the publicity. Everybody wants money. He's here for the publicity. He's here the, the for the publicity. Free, free on Bloomberg. Next up is Shivram, who plans to revolutionize retail training. 
My name is Shivram. I'm from Retail Gurukul. Start with 60 seconds with a timer. Now. Companies have this challenge of uh, training their retail store staff when they are across multiple cities. So with a 24 by 7 mobile app, with a bring your own device kind of an option, with 30-40% of the people I now find carry mobile smartphones and maybe more in the near future. We think that's a right opportunity. And the technology also we provide. So it's a single one-stop shop for the stores. And what we think is an unrefusable price of just 99 rupees per person per month. That's the kind of value that we, we want to provide. So, so what's your traction been? Has anybody been using this? The product has been ready for about four weeks, right? So I've spoken to a couple of uh, brands in Bangalore. They seem to be interested, but like all B2B guys, and like I say, like in Star Wars, you have to take them where they have never gone before. So they have that, okay, nice idea. Let me get my boss to approve. That's the cycle that we are currently in. But if you're building service after service, there's something else for Titan, something else for Timex, something else for somebody else. I mean, what is your value offering here then? The, initial, the value offering is really the one-stop shop. So there's a push and a pull. Thank you, Mr. Chevron. Thank you. Next up, Abhishek Rai, who will help you revamp your closet and make you some extra bucks doing it. Good afternoon. Hi. So we're here to listen to your plan and it starts now. Aina is like F5 for a woman's wardrobe. Our pitch to a woman is very simple. Sell your old clothes. Uh, we give you an excellent value of money for your stuff like shoes, bags, accessories, clothes. We are unlocking the value of the inventory which is uh, logged in a woman's wardrobe. So at Aina, they can simply sell us, our, uh, sell us their old stuff. We'll pay them excellent value of money. They can go out and shop again. You're now in competition with all the people who sell uh, Bartan. Bartans, right? Because it's yeah. traditional in a way, sari, becho, bartan, kharido. Exactly. That idea came from that, uh, that stuff. Also. Except you're not going to give them Bartans. No, no. We are going to pay them in cash. So if I bought something for 100 rupees, how much will you, will you buy it from me for? Yeah. Samaj lo, 60 rupees. 60 rupees? That is Depend a lot. I really think there's a huge flaw with what you're doing. If you're going to buy it for 65%, I think uh, that's really not particularly wi very wise business thinking. All I can tell you is that you are going to end up with a lot of women's clothes and you will not know what to do with it. Very if soon. you like wearing it, that's fine. <laughs> but no. there's only so many women's clothes that you can wear. The specific question which I, uh, which I faced from Mahesh uh, was uh, about the economics of the model. And that's where uh, I faced a hitch. Ten done, fifteen more to go. It's crunch time, and the judges have already started making up their mind. I would say, like uh, a major portion of them stood their ground, defended their businesses, and it's been delightful. I think you know, if if this is the kind of thing that's going to happen, it's really good news for entrepreneurship in India. Next up, Dr. Ketan Junjunwala, a practicing doctor turned entrepreneur with his heart in the right place. We have 60 seconds to listen to your idea. So basically, my venture is to organize an unorganized market, which is a pathology lab market. So basically, our venture will be an interface between the pathology labs and the patients. So our uh, interface will be in the form of a web portal and call to order telephone services. And we will be providing pathology lab testing to the patients at their home. But I have some pretty direct questions to ask you. Already pathology labs kick back commissions to doctors and hospitals, yes, sir. right? Yes, sir. So are you now going to fight with the doctors and hospitals? The doctor says, us lab se lao, but you, the customer says, Main wahan se nahi launga. Is that you think that's going to happen? I being a doctor, I know doctors have a commission for some niche tests. Suppose a particular pathology lab does a particular testing, which we say antibody testing, which is a particular niche test, only certain labs do. So doctor will be very particular in terms of diagnosis rather than his cut. You have to get that test done from that particular lab. I think that the idea is yeah, has tremendous potential. Okay, how much money are you looking for? So we are initially looking for around 2 crores to lot of things. And what will this 2 crores get you? Well, within 2 years we will achieve the profits. And within business. 2 crores you will turn profitable? Yes sir. Alright. Fantastic. I must say that I am very impressed with you doctor. There are you know, a lot of people who have come before you who have not shown as much business acumen. So good job. Thank you sir. Great. Thank you. Thank you so much sir. Thank you. I think there is a 50-50 chance for me. Some things are in my favour, some things are against, against me. 
So I still think it's a 50-50 for me. My name is Panduranga Tavre. I belong to Progressive and Innovative Farmers family from Baramati. And we offer hospitality on the farm, that is agricultural tourism. Your one minute starts now. In 2005, we did, we did a market survey and found that 43% of the urban Indians, they don't have relatives left in the villages. So I thought, why not to start this kind of activities called agricultural tourism. The activity is being hosted by the farmer's family and which is connected to the traditional agriculture and all overall tourism experience. I started training farmers all over Maharashtra. As of now, sir, there are more than 200 farmers who have joined with me and they are doing agricultural activities, agricultural tourism activities on their farm. And tourism income is helping them to develop their traditional farms. So, uh, your time is up, Mr. Pandra. Uh, I just want to ask you simply, so, in a typical farm, how much money is made from agriculture and how much money is made for to from tourism every year? Uh, sir, uh, if you talk about my farm, own farm, last year we have done 90 lakh rupees. And now out of 90 lakh rupees, is almost 40 lakh rupees from the traditional agriculture and 50 lakh rupees is from the tourism receipts. How is the booking done? Supposing somebody wants to book, uh, I mean, if you have 200 different farms, yes, sir. Uh, how, how do I choose which one? So, to so that is uh, that is what uh, I call it as expansion because today what is happening is a farmer is starting agricultural tourism activities on his farm, but uh, for him to send the customers, it has become a little bit difficult now. So, how much does a farmer pay as a fee to you? Uh, sir, it is 10,000 rupees per year. So there are 200 farmers earning 8 lakhs each. Yes. That is how much? That is 16 crores. No, no. Did I get it wrong? <laughs> 1600 1600 lakhs. Unless my math has gone out of there. If these 200 farmers together are making 16 crores, you are only getting 20 lakhs from it. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. You are not making any big margin. You are not even making 1%. Uh, Currently, you are running a charity in Maharashtra. Turn it into a business. I think keep doing the good work and you know, uh, let me know if there is a farm near Bombay, I'd love to go and uh, okay. you know, visit it. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. No, idea is nice. You need more and more people to do we initiatives need of this need nature. You need mentoring. Yeah. He's in a very, I mean, if he can set this up, it's yeah. amazing. Yeah. Nobody can yeah. penetrate a market like this. Next. Next up, Rajul Bhatia with his mindset on women's healthcare needs. Okay, I'm here pitching for WOW. Uh, my brand is uh, WOW, which is a world of women. And we are looking at a customer base of 80 crore Indian women. We have developed products looking at the Indian conditions, looking at the Indian likings and the Indian climatic conditions. What is your big competitive advantage? I like the thought of you thinking local, Indian, etc. That's right. Is it price? Is it distribution? Yes. What could it be? We developed the products where we are now targeting only the middle and the upper middle TG. When you bring it down and say middle and upper middle class women who are not you know, ready to pay 80 rupees, finally you'll probably only come down to maybe 4 or 5 crore women. Then maybe there's something wrong with the numbers. I mean, hmm. my sense is India is only, I don't know. You no, know, no, see, I'll tell you. 130 crore people. No, 130 crore. Out 70, of men, 70 crore men, 80, 65 crore women. 67% is women now, sir. 67% of India is women? No, yes. No. Nice, sir. According to the Euro Monitor, which I read, there are Indian census report, dekho, sir. So, what can you say? Two out of three people in India are not women, sadly. I wish you all the best. Hi, I'm Aksar Salo, 32 years, and I run a company called Deliver. I represent Deliver Retail Network. You have 60 seconds to present it. Your time begins. Deliver is a hyperlocal commerce network that connects retailers and customers in the same neighborhood. We do order booking and delivery for about 10 categories uh, comprising restaurant food, cakes, flowers, medicines. We tie up with the retailers in the neighborhood, enable them with the last mile logistics and professional way of order booking. Tell me, where are you right now? Uh, we have 20,000 customers in the last 12 months. 20,000 homes or 20,000 people? 20,000 households. Okay. What's the average size of the order? 430. 430 rupees. That's for the last month. And how many people ordered last month? Uh, we did 7,000 plus orders. We do about 20% margins on the GMB. So that's 6, six lakh rupees is what you made? Yeah. And what, what is the size of your team? 65. Out of which 35 are operational guys. How are you running 65 people on 6 lakh rupees? Uh, you pay them a salary or they don't even get a salary? They get a salary. Or they eat a part of the food? 
Can really ever make a profit? They are making more money than some of the e-commerce guys. Yeah. No, no, but if all you are making, an order is 430 rupees. What is your cost of servicing the order? Uh, for delivery, it is 56 rupees. So if right now you are working at this negative margin, all the funding can do is maybe reduce the negative margin, maybe bring it to zero. When will you actually become a business that produces a lot of profits? How do you manage in Bangalore traffic? That's my biggest question. So you, you order at dinner time, it comes for breakfast. I mean, is that how it works? Broadly, I mean, I'm not seeing a profitability strategy at all. I'm an investor, I look at this and I'm very scared of the entire fact that you want to lose money forever. All the best. Up next, the youngest contestant of the pitch this year with a quirky idea on his mind. Uh, my name is Hoshdar Pular. I read the advertisement of the pitch in the newspaper. So did you think of the ad, uh, your idea after the ad or you had it before No, that? no, no. I keep on getting these ideas. So how many ideas do you get in one day? Five or six maybe per day. Yes. This is your moment. Make yeah. it. Take it. My idea is very unique. I want to put a ticker behind every person's car. You can put ads online, okay, on the tickers behind every bus or taxi and there you can tweet, update your Facebook status, you know, I was standing at a signal and I read God bless you, you know, people stick stickers on their cars. So that idea struck me, what if, you know, tomorrow he wants to change it to God, God should not bless you. Yeah, God should not bless you. Time's up and I have one question for you. What about the legalities? I mean, what if I write obscenities on this? That is still going on right now, you see, like, people... Do you think it's okay? No, I don't think it's okay. The idea is powerful. I am more concerned about the execution and all of those things. I think the idea is good. So my point is, you know, is it a status bar? Is it a graphic ad? What is it? Is it LED? Is it LCD? It's, it's Twitter for cars. That's not what I hear because I'm hearing ads with no, images going Twitter on. Twitter right? for cars? I mean, seriously? Yeah. Yeah, it's a good idea. I mean, I would have it on my car. Yeah, but Vishal also wears red shoes. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Come on. I think you need a, a lot more work and whenever you're ready with your thing, you know, my car is ready, so let me know. Thank you. When I got the feedback, you know, there was a little bump out there, but all in all, a good pitch by me, so I hope I get through the next round and reach the top 10. A minute given to decide their future. While some have had their chance, the remaining entrepreneurs pitching to be among the finalists in the pitch await their turn. Here is Tejas Dave, who's here to enhance your shopping experience. You have 60 seconds starting now. ShopSmart is a location aware, time sensitive platform which provides instant gratification to shoppers and merchants. It captures a shopper's intent, their preferences, and location and matches that to relevant and timely offers from nearby merchants. We'll give real-time conversion tracking as well as customer shopping analytics. How far have we come so far? Where are you now? So we've started recently, so we've prototyped the initial user base generation module, but we require funding now to scale up the development team. Basically, you figure out how to get customers. We will get them on board now. How will you get them? It provides very local specific information such as parking information at a retail store, for example. How will you know that in that local mall, how many parking spots are left? No, it's a socially developed uh, information generation So first generation people have mechanism. to create a social network for parking. Then based on that, you will give that, that information so, so to other users. Said, yeah, this is, this so, is one of those MBA plans. So it's, you know? it's a classic two-sided network, sir. So two -sided. I don't know what a classic <laughs> two-sided <laughs> network okay, is, right? Okay, fine. Again, please speak I'll English. Even, sure. Huh? Uh, so I don't know about Neeraj, I know he, neither he or I even went to college, let alone business school. <laughs> he lost me at, you know, that at the mall, I will get offers. The basic thing is, you get the offers, the consumers will come. Get the consumers, more offer will come. But first you get the offers. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks. I'm Ankit Mehrotra. I'm the co-founder and CEO of a website called dineout.co.in. You have 60 seconds that start now. So imagine a, a scenario where Neeraj, you walk into a newly opened restaurant. As soon as you walk in, you're greeted by the hostess, immediately showed to a corner table with a fantastic view. And shortly thereafter, you receive a bottle of wine, of your favorite wine, complimentary on the house, because the restaurant knows it's your birthday. And how is this all possible? Because a few hours earlier, you were on your mobile, on TripAdvisor, reading reviews about this great restaurant X, and instantly you decided to book a table. TripAdvisor was using Dineout's reservation engine, along with the review which was powered by Dineout. Your 60 seconds are over. So tell me sure. what exactly you guys do. So you gave a nice impassioned uh, 
talk? Yes. Maybe Neeraj, I don't yes. know if you understood, you understood how I it was. What did you do yeah, with I, the I, bottle I, of wine? Yes. No, no, I, I, I get it. You sure. are basically doing the, the back-end integration for some of these sites which, whereby you've connected back into select restaurants and places to eat, right? That's, that's only a uh, part of it. So we have a B2C website, which is dinar.co. which actually enables res uh, reservations at more than 400 partner restaurants. And these are the best restaurants across Delhi and Sierra. We'll be launching in Bangalore next month. How much money have you made in, do you make in Delhi? So our revenue for the month of uh, July was 8 lakhs. Only doing 8 lakhs a month in Delhi. Yes. Why would you want to grow to Bangalore? Uh, Why not grow to 80 lakhs a month in Delhi? Because we think right now, no one, as in we know for a fact that we are doing the maximum number of reservations and we need to capitalize on this momentum. Uh, what sort of capital are you looking for growth with regard to yes. your so, next two couple of cities? Here? We're looking to raise 15, uh, 15 crores over the next two years. So if you want 15 crores, why are you here? We can't give you 15 crores. No, so as I said, we are not, so we are in the process of forming a round. So it doesn't mean it, it can just, it would just have to be from one person. Okay. All right. Thank you. All the best. Thank you, so much. Good job, all Thank you very much. Thank you so Good much. Start. And uh, we are, as I said, we are in Mumbai, so do try us out. We will. Thank you. I'm Rahul Agrawal. I'm 25 years of age. I'm co-founder and CEO of Mebelcard.com. Mebelcard is an online company selling furnitures and home decor products online. What we're doing is we're tying up with vendors in local cities across India. So, for example, if you're a customer from Mumbai, your product would be odd, would be delivered by a vendor from Mumbai. What this does is reduce logistic times. Uh, we can provide service warranty uh, to you in a better way. We are generating uh, 10 lakhs in revenues in the month of August. So what is your margin? We have 15 to 20% margin. And you're running the company in one and a half lakhs a month? After we, take, we start taking salaries, we should be profitable in the next four to five months. No, no, what is that revenue level? Uh, sir, it should be about 30 lakh rupees. Because in 30 lakh rupees, you'll make 4.5 lakhs. At 4.5 lakhs, you'll be profitable. Yes, sir. So, so how much money are you looking for, by the way? We're looking for five crores. What will be your differentiation against Pepper Fry, Home Shop? I mean, I mean there's so many home, home products. What is your essential differentiation? Uh, the business is entirely different. How? So you're seeing a product for 4,000 rupees on Mebel Card. If you're from Mumbai, these are your products. Once you go to Pepper Fry, it's a complete inventory. Mumbai, what's, Delhi. What's the difference? I was just saying, what you're saying is, what is the cost of freight in Mumbai versus the cost of freight of shipping in? Huge difference. Huge difference in Why getting Why do you charge the consumer that? Well, the consumer wants something which is not available in Mumbai. Say, pay the freight, get it. Once you want. Thanks so much. Uh, good luck. Both the judges and the contestants have had a long day. Everyone is feeling the heat. Who will make it to the top 10? We'll find out next week. At 7,000 meter, 7,000 household meter calculate the television rating of 100 million people in India. It's just like that people are measuring fishes. Can I do it once again? I'm sorry, last time. How does your business exist right now? Uh, yes, we have a website. Uh, also, of course, we're a startup. We don't have marketing budgets. So social media is our biggest uh, friend out there. Apart from that, uh, what really works for us is our trips, thankfully, go very well. So they come back and they tell a lot of friends. So that's word of mouth.